What do I think of Velikos now? It's pain and suffering. I would never opt into playing this champion with my own will. It's just pain to play. Oh wait, you guys found the, the Nemesis playing Vilkas? Do you guys want me to watch that? You want me to watch the Nemesis Vilkas game? Okay, we can quickly watch this. Let's see if it's interesting. It might be like random solo queue game. So I'm going like, to zoom through this intro part just to see what prompted him to pick Vilkas. Why? He sees Yo. I don't have a Yo, but I really want to play. If you have the luxury of not picking Vilkas, mm. I, like, you should do it here. Okay, I'm doing it. I have to play Vilkas. <laughs> I've been to try this champion in... I love the counter first strike. Maybe oh, is it? You know, it's it's really tough to play Velikos into like Yon. It's probably one of his worst matchups. Yeah. So this yeah. is definitely a tough one to pick this game, but it's not as bad as Yasuo. Because the problem here is that Ghost against Yon is kind of useless. I think I'll just go to Green. I would do like the first strike into Ghost, which is basically forfeiting the lane and just playing the repositioning and everything. So that's what I do. I control the map. You just know you're gonna be behind in terms of like your power and tools that you're bringing to the table. So you just play with brain and try to out macro and out impact. So Velikos. So he has better base attack speed? Oh yeah, better base attack speed, nice. So better Yeah, attacks. I mean, better attack speed, that's just like a overhaul of, of all mages, essentially. But recently got 10% ratio oh, on the I went attack speed so. I probably shouldn't have not. I didn't realize he got attack speed buffs. And then... He oh, he took attack speed. Here. Yeah, he's got 0. 071. Then... He's got 0. 071. Uh, he took attack speed for oh, no that was reason. Some time ago already. And here, passive damage and passive AP ratio, and then bug fixes on E. Yeah, why the bug fixes are not His E is not on Viki. Like, it doesn't say that his E travels faster. Oh, here. No. What the fuck? It's not on Viki. The Nemesis screen always trips me up with, the, with no shadows and just this, like, low res thing. I feel like it's got it's like so hard though. to hit a Q level one. <laughs> oh, shit. He actually can into Yon. But, he, like, he's choosing the very difficult angles. Kind like, of. That purpose. ability should have. It's really no! hard to land it, yeah? Don't touch! It's the best ability in the game. Stop. It's the coolest ability in the game. Ah, I see! Dude, like, that's why I wanted to watch it. Because he says, I'm never gonna play Velkos again. The champ sucks. Stop pushing me into it. I remember watching his gameplay a while, while back when he was getting coached by LS and he played it in pro, I think, once. I wasn't very impressed. And, like, I was actually curious, like, right now, is there some chronic mistakes that he might be doing? Because you play Velkos quite differently than other characters. As I explained, he's like, in martial arts, you don't go aggressive. You play defensive and, like, use their momentum and swing it back to them. So you can never really go crazy aggro. You basically have to get enemies consent to beat them to hit them so i was curious if he's making chronic mistakes and just the way he's shooting like the basic shooting patterns are such low percent abilities where on syndra like you're moving around back and forth in the footsie game and of the mid lane you try these enemy tries to go for a minion you hit right kind of depending on your skill whether you hit or miss this is not this is tied to your positioning so much more this is like oriana positioning on steroids what you're doing on velkas because you're not only looking at one angle but actually two angles when you're when you're moving around i don't know how many of you are understanding this in the mid lane there's this dynamic of going in and out and trading and it's all about your movement and his movement look i'm gonna roll back this initial phase look at how this goes so you're going in and that's that's q doesn't hit but if you're syndra you woke up boom you can q just on top of him right i feel like it's like so hard to hit a q level one on your opponent. look 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 at his shooting he's gonna go like here or here in between wave and shoot this is an awkward angle because he gets a fort he gets a v-shaped fort if you go here what the play here is level one i mean yon can't really punish you level one so if you really want to hit him you try to go very wide you try to go very wide because then you eliminate possibilities like you don't even have to shoot essentially but you get to see how his pattern of dodging is he's gonna move like this if you go right he's gonna move like this then you can queue like this and this these are much much better angles and higher to ch higher chance to land here he has so much travel time and he has like very good fort behind minions like that ability should have it's really hard to land it yeah Look at this. This is another, like, there's no reason to shoot here. When he has five to three minions, Yon is obviously going to auto-attack this one. Then he's going to have to auto queue this one. And in this case, instead of shooting, you move up to the right and go with auto-attacks and then set it up with the queue. I have that pen. Actually, I don't. I format my PC, but I, I had it. It will, it will definitely be better. I'll, I'll re-download it. Like how do good Vekas players land this ability? Sneak. Nemesis, I'll teach like you everything. Your Q is such a low I'll uh, teach you everything, Nemesis. Like really spam it I'll give you my like decade of knowledge. You want, but... Oh, his W is a new particle. It looks cleaner. Yeah, it is. It's much, much better. I'll teach you everything, his Nemesis. Is very good early game. It's pretty decent, yeah, because you get two abilities. You get two abilities, place. level two. Ooh, That's great. That proc? great. I didn't think that was going to proc. Second Q, a second W extra range. Now this wave is dangerous. He oh hits it again. God. Massive. 
I, massive, but again, it's not gonna like I feel his pain because I know what's about to happen. He did near fucking flawless early game, and he's gonna lose to Yon from now on because it, he, he already kind of crippled the enemy wave, which means he has to stay on the enemy side, and Yon is just gonna do this. It's just gonna shrug off the damage, and you're almost out of mana and ammo, and you can't manage waves anymore. <laughs> so it's just really sad. But he I played it really well. Geometry. He played it superbly. But Yon doesn't care. Okay. Right? <laughs> like, like, all right, you'll see. Yon three. Yon three is coming, and this is the danger of being in the wave. Okay. Oh, what J four? Oh my God! Why is blood so squishy? What the fuck happened? Yeah. I... Oh, what? He can go for this kill, man. I wish he ran ghost. I need level up. Why didn't he go? Wait. Okay. You know play. he has no flash, right? So. Good. 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 Good, good. 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 The wave is good for him. Oh anyway. no! What? If their enemies are into. He's gonna get eaten soon. Attack Squadron! <laughs> Holy slap! Help, help him. Slap uh, with J the tentacle. J4 needs to help him. Good I got last chapter. GG He's gonna block the wave. Lost chapter or lucidity boots? I think lost chapter. Definitely lost chapter. Otherwise, zone like you get zoned by your own. Good thing he says TP. Have to stay and no, you have TP. You don't. But I got DMAT, so it shouldn't be too hard to wave kill, right? It when doesn't really get an item. Again? Doesn't really get an item spike. Two okay, points Q man. max. Q, two points W max Q. You can. I remember there was like two ways. Either you max Q outright, or you put three points W and then Q. <laughs> I think my old strategy. Yeah, you do two points into W now. I'm gonna put two points. Ever Q since, then. ever since the ratio buffs on the W, it's very, very possible to do two points up, especially if you get ahead like this and get two zero start. I don't know where the fuck am I going, but let's hey. see what happens on level five. On level 5, you lose. <laughs> Despite all the advantage. Okay, so far so good. Early Q points really pack a punch into you all. You gotta be ahead of the curve to keep to be able to continuously poke him down. Otherwise, he just gets I'm trying biddled. to hit this Q, but it's so tough, man. Ah. Early cast. Oh, leave wave clear. Damn. Nice stuff. I just came up with another analogy that's kind of cool for Velkas. Can he time it? Can he time it? Nope. What the fuck is Heimer doing? Ooh, top station. Oh, oh no. That's sad. Damage. Thresh, you gotta run, Thresh. Ah. That was very sad. Ah, I need level 6. Now, the thing is, I, I think he just hasn't played a champ enough. He's moving like a regular champion, which is good in lane. Like a default movement, but Velkas has to have a little bit more different movement. Because you have to think about multiple things. You're not really thinking about just where you're supposed to be, where you ought to be in the lane based on where enemies and the HP status and like who has the prio and who's stronger. But you also got to be thinking about angles. And very often, I'm going to violate that like old school principle, like... I have to be standing a bit farther beyond the wave because I'm technically stronger, I'm supposed to be zoning enemy, but I will move to a different location than that, specifically to bait enemy into angles where I'm much, much more likely to, to shoot, and enemy gets like this full sense of security, they move in there and then you punish them. I don't know, it's it, it's instead of like thinking about one thing, you're doing two things. They're two different things at the same time. It's kind of like playing a guitar, you have to like desync your hands, one is doing the rhythm, and like hitting the, the proper strings, but the other one is like doing the proper notes. It, it's that desync that has to happen in your head. And I feel like he's just synced in the old playstyle. Well, not, not the old playstyle, but like other mage playstyle. And he's not in the vibe with the really other abilities. Cooldown. So he's shooting, like, it's not that he's like bad at shooting abilities, it's just that his positioning is making his abilities much, much more difficult to land. And if you position a little bit preemptively, like predicting where you want to be and where you want to put enemies, his skill sets would be much, much better.
Nice, very good. See there, he repositioned. That was good. He only had one ability in his arsenal, and he repositioned okay. a way where Q had to land. No matter if Yon stays or goes back. I need to push. That was pretty good. It's very, very good. I was definitely feeling lack of power there. Because my champ has lost chapter, I should be really strong in this fight, but I didn't... This is this has always been commonly the issue for Velkos, which is lack of snowball. Like, the differentiator between 3-0 and 0-3 Velkos, it's, it's not quite there, sadly. Like, if you're 0-3 and your team is good and good setup, they set you up, you one-shot somebody, boom, it's good. If you're 3-0, you don't have really, like, a way to set up a one-shot on your own. So you scale with your brain and your own skill, regardless of the in-game gold, you know? I didn't feel like I did a lot. It's so hard to hit spells. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's dead. Aww. See, there he fucked up with like, his own positioning, and he made his own Q much more difficult. For, and not, then he went with a dry no. combo. Without I setup. And now he's very fucked. Oh, I'm that's sure so depressing. Yeah, you kill him there straight up. You 100 to 0 the Gra Gragas. <laughs> oh! Dite respawn drum mate. Welcome to support roll. <laughs> Autos make your passes still longer? Yeah, seven second reset. Oh, true. Yeah, bro went mid, died, respawned, went mid. I, I mean, wish that... my role could do that. I wish my role could just go top, died, respawned, went top. <laughs> Surely. Oh no. I mean, it doesn't really matter for him if, if Heimer was there. That was just, it was just kind of fucked after the Gragas play. Heimer was just the icing. Oh, he outplayed Yon, you think? Like, look how nope. long my cooldowns are in spells, you know? Like, he like, lost the trade so horribly. Yeah. It's so funny being on the other side yeah, now of the Twitch e, chat. I'm like chatting. Like, all your damage is in Q. And passive. Which is why W and E are good. Because you can kind of play around with your passive. When the champ has very safe last hitting with Q. Yeah. Very low mana, you can refund 50% if you get a kill. See what happens in your own matchup. Like, he dodges one, he loses the trade. He gets hit by one, he gets absolutely demolished in his four to either stop which flash or, like, die. It's just a win-win for your own. Like, whatever the fuck he does. Uh, and he's... I mean... Now they're kind of equal, but... I'm surprised that bullshit hitbox didn't hit him. I am actually surprised against Zonyas. Nice. If he did the E predictably, would kill him there cleanly, but... That's very difficult to pull off. Like, E yourself, combo, and stoppage at the same time. Like, obviously, it's a painful matchup in a way, and I should play super defensive. Yep. It just feel, feels really bad that you get two kills early game, you get a super early loss yeah. chapter. You might think you can strong. actually do stuff. Like, any other mage gets, like, these items this early, <laughs> they will just still gonna take over the game, but, like, I'm very custom. So yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't feel like. Sure oh, that's so sad. Down. He's right. And the worst part is, like, Yon has a scaling curve where he's technically, theoretically designed to be weak early, you know? But he's dumpstering early versus a 2-0 Velikus, and then he scales like this. And he just goes off the chart. Like, he's just gonna keep getting stronger and stronger than Velikus over time. Three stages of Velikus. Is that Picked. a tattoo in your forearm? No, I don't have a tattoo. Picked Suffering Rigorette. It's nice farming when you the don't w see any minions. E of just feel like they do no damage. Just I mean, he didn't level up any Ws. Chat kind of did him dirty with the two, uh, two fucking uh, playstyles. I don't know about the not leveling up any points in W playstyle. It can happen sometimes when there's so much fighting, but to to wave manage properly, you need two points. You can you can go three, but I think two is better because you get more uh, impact with the Q. Like single W will do some damage. What does Vekos W do? No damage. That's more of a Syndra problem than a Velkus problem. <laughs> she does bullshit damage. And it's fairly easy to land. <laughs> Farming like trying to do fucking hypotenuse. KP, bro. Using it's, hypotenuse it's across no the screen. It's a blasting one power. Oh, I love it. Okay. Not good. Your W is level 1, isn't it expected? Yeah, I'm comparing it to like a Syndra. Syndra will do way more damage than a Velikos. Wait, somebody's type okay, okay is that? Wait, what? You know? That's what I'm comparing it for. Too. Okay, we're getting free plate, baby. Or are we? Q Vsauce music. Okay, here's the outplay. Here's the outplay. 
actually what? Why did Yo not even use E? Oh, too early. Good. He's dead. Nice. Is he? <laughs> nice. Clean. Two v three, and now they can bait into J four. Okay. Land execute. Execute. Don't give him kill. Boom. Boom. Execute. Fuck this guy. Execute. He's fed, guys. He's fed. This is actually not bad. Like, Relicus can okay. kind of snowball if you get this point. Alright, uh, so my support carried it. Your team fight goes crazy. I'll pretend like I did something. Yep. Why is it not recall? He's got TP. He's just risking it for no reason. Not like he's ever gonna kill this guy here. I mean, it can potentially kill him, but it's just way too much risk for little to no gain. I'm not popping your filler, bro. Does that be shaking his boots right now? That's true. <laughs> What's the build on this champion again? Shit. More amp tomes. Amp tomes. Beautiful. Yeah, versus this co-op, you can also go uh, cosmic. Horizon, Cosmic, both cosmic? are good. Yeah, both are good. It's Cosmic or Horizon for sure. Yeah, I think Cosmic might even be slightly better because there's no massive tanks you need to deal with. You're kind of fed, you already do too much damage anyway. Uh, your repositioning value is much more important. So I'd say Cosmic is best in slot here. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody does. And back to base. <laughs> Sold what? I think it's like from a day or so. I don't know. Cosmic is your build. Fuck the one tricks to your build. Mox is right. Unfortunate. Oh no. Oh no, he's gonna flash boom boom. Yeah, he shouldn't have gone for that Q. Looked a bit sussy. Big shutdown he's playing with. Sorry, my charm doesn't have any dash. I guess I'm dead. Yep. Pretty awkward game for Velikas. Enemy champs are good against you. <laughs> That clueless chatter, not knowing that it's 85% of Elka's games anyway, just due to the meta. <laughs> like, you get one in a once in a blue moon, you get a matchup where you can actually play again. Oh no, that's sad. Oh no, my trash fleet him out of my queue. Oh, classic. This is the classic trash Maokai conundrum where they just push stuff out of your combo but that combo is just not not that good either really. it's so awkward right like your q misses and all your damage is just gone yep all your damage is literally in this ability well it's just a perma run of hf that's true i love all the audience getting exposed to velka's yeah we go for the cannon as well fuck this pantheon fight yeah, the trick is to bait his ults or a passive thing. Nice. You have to bait him out. Can't just ult. Holy, we're doing damage. The damage is massive. You can lay, lay them we're down. We're doing damage, lads. Okay. Wait, he's going Horizon? Didn't he say cause? We're doing damage. No, Vilka's passive doesn't trigger to pen blocker. Pantheon is quite, quite difficult to deal with. Honestly, I wish he would try my uh, ghost build. I would have QR there instead of Q, but minor dip. Because you cover up most of the cast time anyway. Holy. He's got the alternators. The alternators are online. Who goes there? Holy. He's got the item. Magrillin forever. That's a first time sub, right, chat? Tell me it's a first time. Appreciate the sub, homie. Thank you so much. This game is going kind of well for them. Uh, they're losing dragons, though, right? Holy. Yeah, they only lost one. He's fed. If they can just play like a shelled up team fight. They already lost their outer turrets. They will not be strained too thin. Not much to defend. Just he has to not get caught up in Velikos the side lane business. He cannot be caught up in the side lane business. He needs to force grouped up fights. 
Wow. That's a lot of a lot of money for you. Good play. Pantheon. Yeah, this is ultimately not worth, I think. Unless No! Oh, he had that shit. I died that fast. He overstacked it. I'm sad. He had to delay his ult. Like you do EE combo and then you like I mean then you just walk back. There's a minor move that you can do versus Pantheon, which is kinda cool in that case. Like you hit E W Q on him, and then you walk a little bit forward to kind of mimic an animation of like ulting. And then he might panic, he sees a lot of damage, he, you're walking into him, he, he might think that, that you're channeling ult. Then he pops the shield and you walk back and you just ult him from distance. But if you wanna be safe, you just combo in and walk back and hope he presses the E. I'm new here, love your life, buddy. Thank you so oh, much, my girl. Appreciate oh, it, man. Oh. Yeah, I think his team is getting oh, diffed no. here, making it a bit difficult. And Velkos again, he's not a high impact Six champ. Zero kit, if your team loses, like there's only so much you can do. You scale off of your teammates, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay, good timing. Again. Why? Why does he do that? Probably shouldn't know it. Yeah. Q flash? Q flash there executes. Damn, he's he's aggro. Watch out, nice. Oh, yeah, Caitlyn's fit as fuck. Everyone has flashed these days. Makes me sad. Horizon focus, 600 damage. Rough. I mean, that's not bad, honestly. Considering you pick it mostly for utility. You pick it for either hardcore tank shredding frontliner because the 10% damage boost is massive versus tanks. Whereas versus squishies, it doesn't do that much. And you pick it for getting vision when you're probing with your Q. Shouldn't we chase? Yeah, I think they should. Yeah, that's so I sad that he has to ult that. Nice, yeah, yeah, he's right. It's so bullshit that you have to ult that. Because Yon is a champ. Played Heroes 5 for 8 hours? Three days in a row? Thanks eight for reminding me of the position, game. My bad. My bad for playing music. Here we are. <laughs> hey, enjoy, enjoy the game. It is an awesome game. I love Heroes 5. Honestly, if they can rush this, they can all burn. Can they? He's so close to decap, man. That's gonna spike so hard. Doesn't have Gathering Storm, but Split honestly, he doesn't need it. Strategy. <laughs> I have the same Discord hoodie, by the way. They sent me. This is getting risky business. He needs to get his 500, but... I'm pretty close to Rabadon. Yeah, there isn't a place to farm it freely, though. Boink. Major items, man. It feels so bad to have 2k gold and not do anything with your items. Because Rabadon build path is just so horrible. I don't get why it's so horrible. Like, I don't understand it. Like, Infinity Edge and Rabadon are the counterparts, right? Why does Infinity Edge have five times better build path than Rabadon? I, I honestly like the way Rabadon is designed. I, I feel like it's such a tactical item in, in a way when you purchase it, how you purchase it. It's such a tactical item. I love the fact that a per the build path is so disgustingly difficult to do. Like 1250, 1250, 1100. So rough. I think more items should be like that. More major items should be like that. Like obviously like the old school one with Amptone blasting one and a uh, larger. That was like a cool way to build it. Uh, the old decap was too broken. But like honestly, like I think just more items should, should take this approach. Rabadon. I don't think Rabadon, Rabadon is, is to blame. Uh, needless large shot. Blasting and amplifying Tom. Why, yeah. <laughs> why don't they bring that back? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> I remember that one. That What's was wrong a... with that build path? Is it too open? Oh, hit him! This is the time you can ult. Like, he shouldn't have... See, this is where you... Oh my god. Is it too Look at this. or what? Look at this. You ult and you know right now. You cancel. And you keep him on two stacks. So the next hit, even if you hit him with W, insta executes. See how he held the ult. Not only is he wasting chasing time, but he also is wasting his uh, stacks. Because not only is he not doing any extra damage, but he's wasting damage by proking the passive there. 
this is what you do always versus stuff like Pantheon. You keep it at two stacks uh, versus Kindred Ult versus uh, Zillion. You bait out his ult and keep him at two stacks. Versus Trindamir, you set up at two stacks. Versus Kale Ult, you set up at two stacks, right? I, so you can I'm pop him right after. He could have been a lot closer. The Q Flash would have executed actually there. But we got the decap. Decap would have one shot him there, by the way, if he had it. So a bit unfortunate. If he got one extra kill earlier, that'd be extra three hundred gold, which means he would have the item in the one shot here. Yeah, this is a massive spike. Goes to like 550, 520 AP. All right, five hundred AP lots. We will pop off. Go. Oh, I died. That's so tempting to flash forward and combo them. That's the, like three guys stuck out of position. They're all moving back. We will that, top off. That shit is so tempting to combo. Like flash EW. Oh, man. TP was so useless this game. It always is. It always is on Velikus. Now they're the ones out of position. Good play by Thresh. God damn, this Thresh is just I'm that from surfing. Air. I'm dying to air. Dying to air. Feels good, man. Okay, enemies get the Baron Tempo now. They're probably gonna give it away. TP is good. In this case. On the rare ones. But he has Horizon. He has to probe first. He needs to hit something to get vision. Nah, that's bad Q. Oh, never mind, actually. Good Q. What the fuck? He predicted him fully. I thought they were gonna be thinking enemies aren't in time, so they were gonna be rushing it. He ruined this fight single handedly. Beautiful. Yep. I should just take the head skate. Risky business. Big, big, oh, free Baronito. Free Baronito okay, with objective bounty. Game, like, if you can hit Spice, he does do pretty decent damage. That was massive. They need to but click they really reset. They, they have to not get baited by the objective bounty the of mid. Quick reset play. Play the dragon side. Not too shabby. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Not too if they, shabby. They're gonna lose base. the soul. Actually, I should take blue on them base, I know. Because we're going to Drake anyway. I don't know. I don't know if this blue is worth it, honestly. The trade off from it. It's gonna be a bit late. Magi time. Elixir, I'm Magi, bad. banger. I'm going six, full six, strong six. mode. And the fight is over. <laughs> Wee -oo. Yeah, they give up the dragon. Wait, we died? <laughs> yeah, it's Sulky. And Sulky always love arriving, arriving early uh, on the objective. That's why getting blue buff is generally not worth it there, because, yeah, this fight is doomed. Oh my, Velkos! No? It's good? Velkos! Ah, sad. He does so much damage. What? I'm dying to tower! <laughs> he does so much damage. If they can play a proper front to back, they win. It's so free for them. Team Ventagro for no reason. He was a bit late. Okay. Big Ezreal pickup. Let's go. So. Well, by now. Go for Zonia. Like here, I guess. I or Banshee's even. Play, but it's kind of sad. Yeah, he can buy stop, yeah, which. He can go both, honestly. Benshee or Zonia's. It blocks Yon ult, blocks Caitlyn ult, blocks Dragas ult. Benshee's allows him to keep moving the entire time, while Zonia's requires stationary stuff. Benshee's just so much better to build. Like, more enjoyable when you build it. Zonia's feels like crap every time you buy it. I can definitely understand why Velikos players don't want FF. I mean, this champ is definitely a decent late game. <laughs> true. If you true. can hit Spaz. You can actually carry Never this. surrender. Never surrender. We want that mythical combo. You I wonder know? if his win rate goes up by game length. It does, yeah. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Actually, with a champ that has dash. Yep. Not a good idea. Q is very short cooldown. Yeah, this stage with 100 CDR, he can go nuts. He can control every movement enemies do. Uh, if they have sufficient vision, they can't lose a team fight ever again, basically. They should just straight up win fights. If he positions correctly, they have vision, like... He can do so much. But Yon is just Maybe existing. Chasing.
When I buy Sonyus, I usually just use it one time the whole game. Yeah, and that time you use it is when your team gets wiped, you press it, and then you buy 2.5 seconds until you die. <laughs> it's such a... It's, it's like a... Again, Zonius is one of those items that scales off of how good your teammates are. It scales off of how well your team play looks, you know? Like, how, how well you're playing it together. So, <laughs> it's kind of sad, you know? I prefer Banshees. Spotted. Banshees is more selfish. This is so annoying. This guy's perma threatening backdoor with full breaker. And there's nothing you can do. You go too deep, you die. You go too too shallow, he, he, he you run the risk of getting beaten and losing the third. Yeah, I, like, I can do. I just he shouldn't be on this duty. Though. Like they, they need to look for a it's window to fight. Stones. They need a fight ASAP. The longer the split push goes, the worse it is for them. I'm getting pretty close to Zonia. Velikas has less money issues than Hui. Definitely noticeable. I swear I'd be going um right now. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I thought he said money there for a second. But yeah, mana too as well. I'm really close to Zonia. Zonia is very important because it stalls your own E. And you can Zonia your own ult and stuff like that. Okay, we got full build. 30 minute full build. That's the dream. Let's see. I just hope they get one good team fight. So they don't fall apart just to split push. Fuck, he should be me? looking to force fight. I don't know why he's matching you on. Like, why, why is he here? It's so difficult to pull off. It has to be surgical to be done and you still lose fight. No. Like, you just keep the guy in duty to defend and you try to win the fight. You don't win the game by winning split here. Look how massive that is. Imagine he just drops the ult. Oh, he got greedy. He can't go melee into pants. Okay, good. Okay. Good play. A base for health. Nice. Managed to rotate just in time. Go, go, go. They're playing a very risky game. On foot belt. Enemies are rushing the Baron control. I think right now he's looking for like some crazy QRs because their engage is not that good. If they can get vision, if they can get vision control on the uh, Baron side, they can find QRs potentially on Heimer or Caitlyn and get so much space. Go, go, look, fish, fuck split, fuck Yon. Let Jace deal with him for as long as he can. Good find by Thresh. That. It could have forced that so much harder. If they get Baron, the split push doesn't mean that much because they've empowered recall, so they have to get Baron. Go Baron, go Baron. Maybe not. You don't stop pushing. What? Wait, how was he behind me? I saw him going like up here. How the fuck did he come behind me? That's sad. I'm just lazy oh, rotation. Like, that's why the worst phase. Like greedy Shit. recalls and lazy rotations. <sighs> Everyone makes those. But it's frustrating. Oh no, he came behind me. They lost so much momentum. If they get Baron there, they, they have full counterplay to enemy's strongest play. And they also have to they also by pushing mid they're they're also they're gonna just threaten ending. And enemies are gonna coalesce and group into them, and they just have to win one five v five, and that's it. Oh Baron, my God. Baron was the play. <laughs> he tried to ult top money. How much gold from first strike? One k. Oh boy. 
Can he beat him 1v1? Alright, he's just gonna go for a third. Nice try. Fuck me. If I hit the E. Ult is really low cooldown, I've noticed actually. Yeah, in late game you can be liberal with your ult and, and toss like QRs. Toss QRs to look for something. Yon will be in the bottom brush in, in like 4 seconds. <laughs> we just let him. He's gonna heal to full HP with the <laughs> tester. Okay, this game is looking pretty damn close. They just have disadvantages as a team comp. So they have to go crazy on two enemies. He's hovering bots so much. I could help out and will try to counter gank me. QR? QR? Okay, TP. And they do it. Ooh, is he porting in? Oh no. What? My W didn't cast. Five sucks. Okay, that was not a TP play. But we don't have any wards though? Like, there's no wards. My W didn't cast, I don't know why. If my W cast came with keeping it one shot, I would lost. What the fuck? I don't know. We lost 5v4. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I play Velkus a lot. I, I always feel like higher percent plays to just be with the team and cluster. Because you're impacting so much more than actually trying to kill one guy. Like, only if you're ridiculously behind so much that you cannot contest the Baron, you would look to clip out the, the Yon and just get him off the map. But honestly, I just let Jace handle it and then fight the fight. It's so much better because Vulcan's is not, he's not one of those, like, TP into the fight, like, fight finisher, ending, closeout. No, you're you're actually the scout. You're the setup guy. You're the guy zoning and controlling the fight before it begins. You don't join after. Why void stuff? Like, they have no MR. Maybe Cosm is the player here. My passive does true damage as well. Like, is it really worth to buy voids? Or is mm, maybe I have no MR. Cosmic the play. Yeah, I'd probably go Cosmic here. I'm gonna try Rally. What? The game might be over here. Hold because, me. um, yeah, game is probably over. Who the fuck bait him to Rylo's? He has TP most likely too. Who baited him into this? I'll Chat. I'm looking at you. Which one you baited him? I mean, we have open access, so now they can put my back door with you on. Like. You bastards. Kill Graga? Uh, he didn't have the full laser channel. Oh my god, Thresh. Explain why we never go Ryla, because Q and E and R all have a bigger cc than rila essentially you get barely any value if you can slow enemies a lot with your w then you kind of get your money's worth like it's actually better to go oh something like fucking demonic which is the same exact it? item just slightly better but even demonic sucks because you have stuff like cosmic waiting for you hell even void staff is better here <laughs> because they might build some mr at some point and it's not even that terrible right now I'm full built lots. Painting slows the minions. Yeah, also banshees would have been nice. This is gonna be tough to defend. I don't know how we're gonna do it. No gathering storm. Shit. Life sucks. Yeah, at 40 minutes that shit would be popping. He'd be nearing 1k AB here almost. Okay. Well, now it's just impossible to defend. Yon is threatening. I just want to see one good team fight. Fuck. He's been permanently dealing with the, the stuff on the side. I... Damn, he got wrecked there. Heimer wanted his ass. Has 
<laughs> oh, so, that's sad. Well, <laughs> that's why he's never gonna play again. <laughs> I mean, yeah, two things basically. Like mainly, he's playing wonderfully. He's playing like pretty well for not not touching the champ. You're gonna see obviously why he's like a great player uh there's just like the, the chronic welker stuff where you have to play a lot to set up enemies into proper angles to maximize your chance of hitting instead of just trying to hit from regular play style and then secondly is just minimaxing your percent chances to translate your lead into a game win because that's very difficult to do on Velkus. and you want to spend as little time as possible in the sides and mostly trying to control the river and the objectives that are coming and trying to get pick offs if you're fed or vision or control or zone and just destroy enemies provoke a fight that's winning very often i'll adapt into playstyle where i i will die inevitably but i will set up a fight where they have to engage me but i'm gonna do too much damage or kill one and they're gonna lose but that was fun i'm glad we watched that